Now let's see this example. Design a Turing machine for L is equal to a power n, b power n, c power n such that n greater than or equal to 1. So the possible strings are if n is equal to 1 then a b c. If n is equal to 2 then a a b b c c. If n is equal to 3 then 3 by a 3 by b 3 by c. Likewise it generates uh, so many strings. Uh, let us consider an example here. Let n is equal to 3. Then the string is 3 by a, 3 by b and 3 by c. And before the string, we can have any number of blank symbols. And after the string also, we can have uh, any number of blank symbols. So let us assume that initially we write that is at the first symbol, that is a. Uh, let the starting state is q0. Let the starting state is q0. 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 Uh, here the logic is very very simple. We have to modify the contents of A to X. So these three A's are modified to X. And these three B's are modified to Y. And these three C's are uh, modified to Z. And uh, before and after that if we, if we don't have here we don't have any symbols here. We have only black symbols. So we can say that our uh, string is a valid string. Okay. Uh, so here the letter, uh, starting state is Q0. Uh, so if we apply a on q0 then modify the content to x if you apply a on q0 then modify the content to x and move the read right head towards the right and then change the state from q0 to q1 so now the read right head is at, at this location okay next uh, if we apply uh, next we have to move the read right head till we get b till we get b so that's why if we apply any number of A's on Q1, don't change them, okay? So if we apply A on Q1, then don't change A. Keep the A as it is. So that's why we are replacing with A only and move the read right head towards the right. So here we have A. So don't change A. That means replace with A only and move the head towards the right. Next, uh, A. So don't change A, but move the read right head towards the right. So next, if we apply B on Q1, then modify the content to Y and move the read right head towards the right. So here this B should be modified to Y. So let us change the state from Q1 to Q2. And move the head towards the right. And move the head towards the right. So now the head is at this location. Next, uh, we have to move the head towards the right till we get C. So if you apply B here, then don't change B. So keep the B as is only. Move the read right head towards the right. Okay. So here we have B. So don't change B. So move the head towards the right. Here we have B. So don't change B. Move the head towards the right. Okay. So next, if you apply C on Q2, then change the content to Z and move the read right head towards the and move the read right here towards the left because here we have A's and B's and C's only. Uh, so for this A, this is the corresponding B, this is the corresponding C. So we have to move the read right here towards the left till we get X. Till we get X. Why? Because here we replace A with X. Okay. So let us change the shade from Q2 to Q3. So and uh, so we have to uh, replace the content of C to Z and move the head towards the left. So now the head is here, okay? And then we have to move the head towards the uh, left till we get the X, okay? So here we have B. So don't change B. So keep the B as it is. So if we have B, then move the head towards the left. So here we have B. So don't change B. But we need to move the head towards the left. So here we have Y. So if we have Y, then don't change Y. But move the head towards the left. So move the head towards the left. Here we have A. A. Don't change A. But move the head towards the left. Here we have A. So don't change A. Keep that A as it is. But move the head towards the left. Okay. Towards the left. So now the head is at this location. So if we apply X. 
if we apply x if we if we get a if we read x on q3 then uh, we can say that the first iteration is over that means a b c first a b c are over so that's why don't change x but move the head towards the right okay move the head towards the right so now the head is at this location so next you apply a a on q0 then this a will be replaced with x move the head towards the right so now the head is at this location so apply a here uh, don't change a but move the head towards the right move the head towards the right okay so next here next uh, uh, next the uh, cursor is at this location the cursor is at this location here we have y here we have y so if we got y here then don't change y then don't change y but move the head towards the right but move the head towards the right so now the head is at this location so here we have b so this, that b will be replaced with y change the content of b to y and move the head towards the right and move the head towards the right so b is modified to y and move the head towards the right so now we are at q2 and we read b so don't change b and move the head towards the right so move the head towards the right okay next step here we have z here we have z so if we, if 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 we read z then there is no need to change z so keep the z as it is but move the head towards the right move the head towards the right so now the head is at this location so if we apply c here then what we have to do then we have to modify this content as z and uh, so c is modified to z but we have to move the head towards the left so now we are at q3 q3 but here we have a z so if we read z here on q3 then don't change z keep the z as it is and move the head towards the left till we get x okay till we get x so b so b the transition is already over that is already applied so move the head towards the left next y already written so move the head towards the left y already written a already written next x x if we apply x on q3 then don't change x uh, that means keep the x as it is but move the uh, don't change x here okay but move the head towards the right so move the head towards the right so now the head is at this location so on q0 if we apply a then change a to x okay change a to x so that a is changed to x uh, so move the head towards the right till we get b so on q1 so x it is modified so now it is moved to right on q1 if you apply y then don't change y but move the head towards the right next here we have y so don't change y but move the head towards the right next here we have b if you apply b on q1 then this b is modified to y this p is modified to y and move the head towards the right move the head towards the right so now we are at q2 so if we apply if we, here we have z so don't change z but move the head towards the right so now we are at this location here also we have z so don't change z but move the head towards the right okay next if we apply c here then change the content to z but move the head towards the towards the left towards the left so now we have now we have to move the head till we get x so z already transition is written so move one position to the left z already written move to the left y already written move to the left y by written x so here we have x okay so after x we don't have any s after this x we don't have any s so but after this x we have y so if we apply y here if we apply y on uh, uh, q not then don't change y so keep the y as it is only but move the head towards the right so q3 q3 states are over the next state is q4 the next state is q4 so now so now uh, x so this is over so now the head is at this location so y is applied on q not so keep the y as it is but move the head towards the right so now the uh, head is at this location so again y is applied so we can apply any number of y's here 
If you apply any number of y's here, then uh, stay in q4 only. Here two y's are applied, but stay in, in q4 state only. Stay in q4 state only, but we have to move towards the right. So here we have z. So if we apply z here, if we apply z here, then uh, then keep the z as it is. Keep the z as it is, but move the head towards the right. Okay. So what is the next state? Q5 is the next state. Okay. So here we have z here. So keep the z as it is, but move the head towards the right. Okay. After this, we have two more jets. After this, we have two more jets. Uh, so this is over. So z z uh, this is over. So then the next state is Q5. Then the next state is Q5. Uh, so we have two more jets here. So we can apply any number of jets here. So here, if we apply z, keep the z as it is, but move the head towards the right. So now the head is at this location. So z is applied. So move the head towards the right. So now the head is at this location. We have blank symbols. Okay. So if we have any blank symbols, then keep the blank symbol as it is and move the head towards left and right. Okay. Here we have blank symbol. So keep the blank symbol as it is and move the head towards right and left. It is our choice. So this state is nothing but the final state. Okay. So this is the Turing mission. In this way, we can design a Turing mission for L is equal to A power N, B power N, C power N. Okay. So for A's, we have corresponding B's and uh, corresponding C's. So we have three A's, three B's, three C's. So if you provide correct string, then we will get the final, final state. So in this way, we can design the Turing mission for this problem.